Hello, welcome to this tutorial for Diva. In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom playout. So to start, let's go up to the top left and click on the Create panel. And let's go up to the top right and select New Playout. Now here, select Empty Playout. This will give you a new playout from scratch uh, and won't be one of the pre-designed ones by Spinetics. Once this loads, you'll see a list of your components on the right side. Uh, the only one that you have so far is the background component. So let's go ahead and open this up and just add this desert JPEG to it uh, so we can see our background. Next, I'm going to click on the Edit button. And this will show our apps down in the bottom instead of our assets. These apps are what you can add as components to your playout, and they have specific functionalities. For instance, there's some clocks here. QR code, RSS feed, and some weather widgets. So I'm going to start off and take the digital clock app and add it as a component. Now this component I can click and drag inside of it in my preview to size and position it. And let's make it, there we go, that's good. And then there's some editable properties over here that you can set. So I'm going to set these very quickly the ones that I want and okay so that looks good to me next thing is I'm going to add a media playlist zone this is where your videos and images will be added um, so you can size and position this now keep in mind in the edit uh, panel where we are currently this is not where you will add your videos and images you'll do this once you click the OK button once you're done we're simply just sizing and positioning this component right now so once I've done that I'm gonna add a weather days component now the first thing you'll notice is that this is overlapping some of our other components and that these outlines have turned red the diva interface does not allow you to overlap any component with each other and if you do you'll see those red outlines for the components that are encroaching upon one another. So I'm going to size and position this appropriately. Okay, that looks good. Then I'm going to change the type to vertical uh, so it's using more space. And then in the location, I'm just going to set it up for where I currently am. Okay, then I'll just quickly configure the rest of this information. That's good. So now I have three components. The last one I'm going to add is a ticker. And this ticker is just uh, static text that moves. And when I say static, I mean you can type in your own text that you want to display, so inline text essentially. I'm just going to quickly size and position this so it's not uh, overlapping any other component. OK, good. I'm going to change the type to a text ticker and then I'm going to type in anything I want quite literally um, you can also change the font uh, I like Arial I'll keep it like that and that looks good so once I have configured all of my components I can click OK now I can go to the media component and add my videos. So I'll quickly add my two videos that I want to play. Put a transition on there. And then once I hit save, this will take me to the calendar panel where I can schedule this play out to play. Um, we'll be talking about that in a uh, additional video. So stay tuned for part two where I will show you how to duplicate your playouts and rework them so that you can have a library of playouts that you can give to your customers.